game is called The Council. It's an indie game I saw on Steam. Looks interesting. I have no idea what this game is about. I It could be anything. I have no idea. Um, so we're just going to start playing it and see how it is. And I'm going to make myself smaller because I'm really big right now. It's better size. All right, let's start. Ah! Stop. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. <gasps> you know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. Yeah. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. Gotcha. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Let's go back. Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. Why wouldn't you make the poison ahead of time? With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Hmm? Listen. How did he not Let's hear them say that? I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. I'll, she looks trustworthy. I'll trust Mother. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm, means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you, this time I'm coming with you. No, even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Oh, God. The acting so far is quite... 
just passable. <laughs> it's silly. I don't know. Their like their voices don't seem to match their their characters and stuff. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is Who's think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Nani? Uh... Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Uh. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. She's a good if actress. If you come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Ah! Are you ah! right? Ah! Uh. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, mother, don't, don't! 
What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. What the Fine. hell is going on? This, this is weird. What? I definitely have to find Mother quickly. What is Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Oh god, the frame rate's quite bad. Let me see if I can... Settings... Video... There, now it runs a 60. Locked to 30? No, no thank you. Oh god, why is it? Oh, Jesus. Camera. Up and down is fine, but the left and right's really bad. Even that's still really... God damn. I'm having to, like, move the mouse several times across the pad to get it to rotate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the hell? Um, what's that? A sister say. A sister say? Oh my god. I think this is designed around a controller. It's not designed around a mouse at all. Okay. I have the DPI up as high it'll go on the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I don't know why it's so low. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Wait. I choose your class? A cultist is a master of deception, convinced the importance of knowledge. He has acquired a sense of expertise in science and the arts, and others to achieve his ends does not bother him. Detective. Sells the investigation. He's trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as the people he questions. A hands-on man who does not shy away from direct approach. Diplomat. Shines in society. A talented speaker with whom he's talking without offending them. Politics is the field of predilection. The one that sounds the most fun sounds like a cultist. A cultist? Uh, up to date with scientific knowledge and medical techniques. Rely on your knowledge of myths, occult, and religious symbols, as well as ancient languages to assist secret societies. Cultural. Let's also do science. Manipulation. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, another didn't save it. sub, another pun. <laughs> Thank you for subbing X Reborn. Thank you very much. 
Discreetly steal items, pick locks, and notice falsifications. I think I'll take one of those two. Spread my points around a little bit. Okay, validate, hold space. Yeah, like uh, uh, the game sort of feels like we're missing. I like, have been involved in all plot. sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm, there was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priest called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priest stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Uh... What are these? Um... Not at all, so lie to her? Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Um... Your skills is allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggested to the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required to the situation, you need to have it unlocked. Have unlocked it. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted, while exploited vulnerabilities give you one effort point back. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in journal tab of the menu. Um, immunity revealed, vulnerability revealed. Press paste to access your menu pages. Emily, please. Immunity to logic. <laughs> well, of course. How is someone immune to logic? <laughs> I don't believe in your logic and science. Excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review the their unlock additions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. If you all talents that tab the menu. Talents. You gain one extra point when you use uh, royal gel. When you use royal jelly. What the hell is royal jelly? Picking up clutch coins gives you more experience. Reach level three erosion and etiquette skills. Diversion and substitute. Reach. Okay. <laughs> oh god, the 
mouse. Ah, okay. Uh, Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. <laughs> Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Okay. Fine. Um, this is, this get, oh god, rotating. I, I think I have to get a controller, because this is, the rotating's really bad. Like, it's really horrible. Uh, I don't have one here in the office, I don't think, today, so I have to deal with it. What's that? Uh, Royal Jelly, again. This is such an interesting mix of... Just an interesting mix of stuff in this game so far. Items, like leveling, classes, inside what looks like a Telltale game. So, on the surface, at least. The game's very vertical. Well, up and down is perfect with the mouse, but left and right is really bad. Maybe someone's figured out a way to fix it. Let me see if this game has like a settings menu or something. Documents, my games, the council. Actually, what if we, what if we ran it in a window? Does that fit? That fixes it. Almost. There's a camera sensitivity thread. Open Windows Explorer. Documents, my games, the council. Council input config. Two hundred. Okay, looks like there is a fix. Probably have to restart the game though. Start the game. So set this to 200, set it to probably read only. And then relaunch. Yeah, so setting, doubling the in game's max uh, camera sensitivity seems to be the fix. Which tells you that they play test this with the console version and not the PC version very much. Oh my god, that is so much better. Oh, Jesus. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. 
Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Why would you have a mask where you can't breathe through it? Like, that's gonna be really hard to breathe. And how would you hear him? Because, like... Alright, your skills give you access to unique choices and actions that cost effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower uh, the cost it is in effort points. Browse your character with the... Browse your skills by using the character tab menu. Did anyone see anything else? Whoops. Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. A yeah. handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Got him. It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. New subscriber. You must have Thank come you for a subbing. specific reason. I need to know what Leanna it Ross. is. Think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Latin inscription. And Nessis, me fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. What does that mean? Translate. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. Uh, Lord Mortimer, immunity con to conviction. Okay. Can I go over here? There's probably more items on this over this way. New subscriber. Uh, thank you for subbing, Nestrican. Can I lockpick that? Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Well, pick it. Difficulty three, subterfuges level one. Do it. Ah, there we are. Got it. And inside we have, I got in. Uh, royal jelly. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, 
At least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Why don't we just walk around? It's like on a dock. Amber fragments. You just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you you trigger an amber alert. No, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Amber crystals. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What have we here? Gunpowder? cannon powder. Uh, let's use science. Hmm, the powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dog. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. Using science. It even more. It's not enough. All right, let's do 300. Property read only. Boom. It's, I don't know who, no, someone didn't test a mouse, a mouse with this game at this resolution, I think. Hopefully it's fine now. Oh my God, it's normal. Hallelujah. More royal jelly. I just noticed these dots here. Hey, there's something there's under something there. You're not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Those eyes. Take the floorboard out. Ah, uh, shit. Shh. Ah, it's not coming up. I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Maybe we should lever it alone. Take one last little look around here, just in case. I may have missed a shiny. Just double checking. Looks like there's a lot of verticality in this game. Alright, looking around. So, am I just keeping big tubs of jelly in my hand, in my pocket, and I'm like... I'm just eating them, randomly? This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Is that useful? Oh, crowbar! Looks like a bar from an old gate. I can use that as a this lever. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Take it. This might just come in handy. Well, it is coming with you in your hand, so therefore it's coming in handy. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Looks like these things are now usable. Oh, what's this? Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. These interactions weren't available before, so... It's like we have to go back multiple times to check everything. Let's see what's hidden inside. Find a clue. Logic locked. Damn, I don't have any logic. Saving the Let's letters. Look. To Jacquina de Silva Xavier. 
Envelope has ideograms on it. Mr. Carl Corley. Mr. R. Galbraith. Other letters. M.P. Hooven. Samuel Witter de, 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 de Uh Eminence Giovanni Angelo Cobrashi. Wait! SRD! SDR. Never mind. It's not the same. Hooven, Eminence, Giovanni Angelo Cabrassi, HB de la Bath. What's the ideograms? Hmm. A letter written in an Oriental language. Language. I have the slightest idea what it says. Name rings a bell. Samuel Ritter Doshua. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Riche. Of course. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name, okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Uh, politics locked? Damn it. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But, just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Good day! Good day! A lantern? A lantern. Nothing special. Uh... I feel like I need to, this, I, this is like a detective game. I feel like I need a, a pipe and a monocle and a top hat. Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's see. Let's look. I'm gonna click on all the letters to see it's if they It's too do badly written, I, I can't make out the address. Might as well, as long as they don't cost energy. Hmm, a letter written in an oriental language. I have the slightest idea what it says. Yeah, I need like a cup of tea. A sip of tea to like... The address <laughs> is 50 Bedford Square, London. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Other letters, MP Hooven? Probably a Dutchman. Probably a Dutchman. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. No way. Eminence, that's a long name. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Difficulty zero. Apparently this letter is meant for Pope Pius VI, <gasps> born Giovanni Brasci. I wonder which one of these people is influential enough to write to the Pope in person. I think that's all the letters. It's for the Pope. I think... I wonder if it's like the lead conspirator is the Pope himself. 
he did it. I don't know what the crime is yet, but he did whatever it is. It's like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Alright, let's go back. Now we can pry this open, but I, I need some jelly, I think. Uh, how do I... How do I use jelly? I should think I use it in context, probably. Where's the board again? There it is. Okay, now let's leave it. Use the rusty iron bar. So if you use items, it's like it doesn't cost any energy. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. <gasps> Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud. What's happened to you, Mother? Uh, main scripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose uh, what to read and gain permanent skill points. Oh. Let's look inside the bag. Let's see. Plus one skill in science. Food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Uh, black powder is probably the gunpowder. Bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. And judging by its consistency, it's the same type of powder that I found earlier. This just gets better and better. Uh, rusty key. iron key completely rusted. I, I could have saved it energy. Useful. Damn it. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Ah, damn it. That was for the gate. I could have opened it. These are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. What does all this mean? Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. Bacon? The bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly Two days? And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Um, bacon though. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to mother when I see her. Who keeps bacon in their purse though? I'll tell you who. So, the greatest woman in the world. This. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, Looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send up letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I ought to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I hope so. All right, well, now we got... How do I read... How do I... When do I get to read the books to learn skills? Collector coin, letter... Yeah, the graphics are pretty nice. This game is brand new. We have it on medium too. Uh, maximum is lag and hardcore. It pops up later. Okay, just make sure I don't miss something. I think we got all the clues on the dock. Let me just take one last little pass just to make sure. Those little dots sometimes pop up. After you think you've read them all, I read all the letters. One last little pass just to make sure. This lantern's not lit. It's not a matter of the PC, it's just that it wasn't... The game's not optimized very well. They need to work on optimizing the graphics a bit. Dun, 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 dun. How? 
How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Poseidon? Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences in the rest of the story, so you don't have to say to use your skills. Each confrontation, confrontation displays an interface showing you how much a person you are, you are talking to is convinced. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Um. Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Never mind, give me the letter. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. Sex. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind that if she hand. does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? You uh, don't know the truth. Difficulty three. What the hell's the golden order? My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust yeah, me. Yeah, just tell him that. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. Sure. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Shit. <laughs> All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah, uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Uh... Look, you seem hesitant. The simplest thing to do is just to give it to her when you see her. After all, it's not that urgent. Yes. I mean, yes, it's urgent. 
I mean, what if we don't find each other here on the island? Though I don't know yet when I'll be leaving. I might not be staying for very long. Hmm, what to do? Can you see a solution? Come on, just give me the letter for crying out loud. I cannot run the risk alone. I am going to trust you. You seem like an honest man. Yay! Bingo. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? God? You must, for the last step of the computation, you, are, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right answer or you have no blunders left. Last step, connotation will repeat itself if you fail. Sure. Your eminence, that is just not possible for me. Why is that? I have always had a Cartesian mind, and I won't make false promises. I respect you too much for that. I spend my time trying to find logical and reasonable answers to problems which, at first glance, seem supernatural. I'm not saying I don't believe in God as a concept. I just don't believe in the God of your sacred texts. And I don't want to lie to you. Even though your answer does shock me, my son, I shall only hear your honesty. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Riche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally Yay! being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your venture. Do not hesitate to look for them. A sealed letter. Well, let's go look for clues. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Oh my God. It's disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Jesus. What the fuck? Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Why in the world would you have that picture? That's just gross. It's like you can't go that way. This is a very, very nice looking place. It's like a lot of expensive stuff though, on it. Devil's Storm grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice and a conversation. You can't carry more than five. Press three to use it. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. The man. Right, one second. I just got a talent in there. Or a trait. You gain one skill point manipulation. You obtain uh, Piagi's letter. Oh, cool. Who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. This game is very interesting so far. The only bad thing currently is the voice acting is a little rough, but other than that, everything's blinded enjoy himself. This game. What a tragic destiny. Aww. Holy crap. How do you paint something like that? 
Maybe I should introduce myself to the other guests first. No. I gotta find all the secrets first. Uh -huh. It's too late now. Yeah, the movement was, is fixed by uh, tripling the, uh, if you triple the uh, sensitivity on the mouse in the settings, it fixes the mouse movement. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. Difficulty zero, sure. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar. Stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then, covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. Yeah, let's just steal it. Let's just steal it. It's fine. It's, my, it's ours now. We own this. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Why, well, delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet, it is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. Okay. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? <laughs> Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit, that's the man for my vision. 
An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. He looks ugly. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. I think we'll stop and listen to the first president of the United States. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry, Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is, in fact, the leader of the order in the United States. I, I didn't know. She's one I'm sorry button to pop make away from weak, those. But I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. And you, Emily, what do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. What's that? She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance. And I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? When she came to the US, did you exchange ideas about the Golden Order? Exactly. What's more, she was essential in helping set up the American branch of the Order. I would never have become its leader without her help. We are a new country. And to achieve our democratic ideals, we need to count on discreet powers such as our organization. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. It's pretty close. You won't be disappointed. It's pretty close. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. 
I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was prepared to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. This isn't suspicious at all. Hi, guys. We're just chatting. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. The statue is impressive, and so are the paintings. Rubens, the Caravage, Gagnero. Lord Mortimer has very good taste, and the means to express it. Oh, I see our young sir is a connoisseur. Uh -huh. Yes, in my spare time. Yet, I couldn't tell you who Ugh. the artist of that painting there Stop. is. Oh. I think I recognize a theme, but the style intrigues me. Saturn devouring his son. Oh, well, you wouldn't know. The artist is none other than Lord Mortimer. What? I thought for a long time that the painting wasn't finished, but my old friend assured me it was. Still, there's no accounting for taste. Not very conventional, but it sure does hold your attention. You'll find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Sir Hall, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Missed like three opportunities. They don't have the skills for it. Wait, are Ladies, we sleeping already? Gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Like I'm gonna go to my room. I'm gonna look around for his clues and secrets. Oh my God, this house! Holy crap! So lush. A bazant. A bazant. Yeah, the main character, unfortunately, is one of the uh, worst voice actors of the group. This shouldn't have put him on about. Most everyone else is fine, but he's just sort of... Just lacks emotion in his voice, I guess. I don't know. It's so pretty over here. This house is so lush and... Yeah, this is oh, this place is huge. It's like a castle. Two leaves out of an old encyclopedia.
Uh, can I have you cut some all the pages in this manuscript in order to read it? That's like three skill points if I can find them all. Golden elixir. Uh, cures all your negative alterations. Can't have more than five. Golden elixir. Hmm. I'll keep it for later. Is that a common household item that someone would just have a golden elixir? Wait, wait, chat. I, do you see it? Right there in between the pot and the wall, there's a empty texture spice where you can see through to the outside. Unplayable. Refund. The quorum guide. How many pots do you need in your hallway? God. So many. The devil's thorn. To be used to uncover the best disguised traits. I know one little pixel's off, therefore I can't play it. Like these all these all look like urns too that like people would be buried, burnt, and then put ashes put inside of. I must have all of the things. You know what would be a, a horrible task? Dusting and sweeping this whole place. You have to sweep nearly daily just to get keep all the dust out. <gasps> Collect your coin, nice. I know, you have servants for that, but the servants, yeah, it'd be like a full-time job. Every day you have to clean and sweep and dust and remove stuff. Think how, people, how many servants it takes to have one family live inside a giant castle. So many. Another coin. Chairs do you need? God. Just use a vacuum. We have medieval technology too. Only sprooms. No vacuum cleaners. President George Washington. Can't go there. Checking for little dots. Looking for little dots. Don't see any. Nothing there. Oh, good. More jelly. Wait, do they have cakes just lying out? Okay, I'm sold. I want to live here. They have they have desserts just sitting in the hallway for you to help yourself with. Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Yeah, they just have like tarts and desserts, chilling. Huh, that's me. Before I go in there, let me look down the hallway for more things I may have missed. Duke Manuel Godoy. Check that side. Okay, I think we thoroughly explore that. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Oh, uh, uh, there's one. Another coin. I do with this letter it might be about my mother's disappearance but if I open it 
I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Uh, let's see. Open it without so, breaking the seal. It really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. Wow. Nice room. Wow. Yeah, sure doesn't do things halfway. Well, I got it. Nothing in there. So now we know we can trust that guy, in theory. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Oh, God. You have four consumable items in your sim class. The dialogue timer is no longer visible. Use golden elixir to cure yourself. Golden elixir. Oh. I use an elixir to gain an elixir. Okay. Coin. God, this game is very stingy about the uh, that kind of stuff. Caramel uh, water gives you the focus state. Your next skill will cost no effort. You cannot carry more than five. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Well, I'm still in that positive one energy, I guess. It, stuff costs so much energy in this. Uh. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, it gives you a real boost. New subscriber. Thank you for subbing, Maganoff. Thank you very much. Inferno by Dante. Oh, yeah, did that. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Can I go back in? Okay, good. Thought I was stuck out here. Another caramel water. I couldn't have hoped for better. More jelly. Good. coin and even another coin what are these coins for I guess they're just for trophies I'm guessing yeah recovering effort uh, recovering effort points seems to be uh, just using jelly or exploiting weaknesses to get one back Go in the next room over here. Another one. Another devil storm. No, 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 don't trigger cussing. No, 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 I wasn't going to bed yet. No, I wasn't going to bed yet. No, 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 stop it. No, I wasn't going to bed. Stop it. What are you doing? No, god damn it. wasn't going to bed yet. God. No, I don't want to go to bed. I walked towards, I wasn't interacting with. Can I not loot the room? I wasn't, god damn it, I wasn't done yet.
four available points. Left before level two. Skill use is free. <laughs> Breaking into stuff seems like a useful one. Well, the thing is, uh, having a skill uses so much energy that it's kind of, you kind of have to like only, like if you have only one point and it costs three effort for each time, but if you have level two, then it costs nothing to use it. I think I'll just put one there for now, so like having a middle point is not going to help at all. It's like I have to say, spend the point, won't let me not spend it. Uh, Alright. Choose what, uh, each manuscript confers skill points at the end of the, of the quest. One in science, one in conviction, one in occultism, one in etiquette. <laughs> I hate that, like, just approaching the bed makes you sleep. You can't just choose to interact with it. There's no warning, too. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted, given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. What a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Why would you burn the chess piece? A little 
nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. His Thank face you. looks so good. And dead. to you too, sir. Thank you, Mr. PDM, for gifting another sub. You're at 470 gift subs. A circle-shaped key. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Donny? Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. The last judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? What is... these pictures are... Ugh. Why would you have these in your room, ever? Incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio represented St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. I can't go outside, it won't let me. Stop knocking on my damn door. It's like five in the morning. Excuse me, am I bothering you? Mr. President. No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. What? That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Distract her, huh? Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. I'll help you. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. Well, if you want me to distract her with sex, I can give you, like, at least 45 seconds. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Random music! Nice. 
I guess I'll get up. Why is... Why did I randomly have the option to sit in one chair? Peepin Tom. Oh, Mr. Priest. Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. No, but I'm about to. What are you playing? You make me one up, you. Where's that smart mouth now? I'll keep you on the Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. <sighs> Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Thank you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Forget there are multiple paths to reach your objective. Maybe a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path you come to. Me, sir. If we were in France, yeah. I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. <laughs> hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know Wait, who I am. Wait, this isn't the woman? Stop. I beg you. I I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. If I step in, Adams might just run back uh -uh. to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh -huh. suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Let her go! Huh? Stay out of it, boy! Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy. If you think you can side uh -oh. with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. Listen, we can sort this out like gentlemen. No, I don't think so. You haven't hurt anyone yet, my friend. No, but I'm about to. Don't think you're what? getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine! And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it! Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. What? Don't tell you me you're gonna subscriber. defend these harlots! Cat got your tongue? What the you fuck? You should've kept your big nose out! Wait, what? Are you fucking serious? Are you kidding me? Two more points. <sighs> I don't think you can reload, can you? I don't think you can reload in this game. Can I restart the day?
Apparently, I didn't have the skills to talk him down, but there's no way to know that until you go into it. Oh my god. They're so stupid, though. There's no way to know what the hell's gonna happen until you do it. God damn it. Oh, the bastard caught me dead to rights. Liam, you have failed me. I don't know what you were doing, but Elizabeth returned much too soon. Any earlier, and I would have been caught. I didn't get time to search through everything, but I did manage to find what I was looking for. The young lady really is John Adams' daughter. Signed, George Washington. Well done, Lee. The President of the United States asked for your assistance and you screwed up? Mother finds out I... I get the feeling I'll never hear the end of it. Not for a few years, anyway. Now, what was I going to do last night? Ah, yes. Search the room. According to what I saw in my vision, this room was Mother's before I got it. Maybe she left something behind that will help me find her. Plus one point in science. Actually, that'll max it out. Boom, boom, boom. That makes me sad. Well, now our cult's, like, all maxed up. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. The problem with replayability is I have to go through the entire first chapter just to get to the second chapter. That's that's not replayability, that's annoyance ability. Writing material. New subscriber. Knuckle G, thank you for subbing. It's got lots of annoyance ability. I'm curious what happens if you choose episodes. Oh, it looks like it saved my progress. Okay. All right. Okay. We're fine. Did figure out a way. Look, fortunately, I don't think there's a way to skip dialogue. Your turn. The servants are not very efficient. Can't skip. Can't be no button away. skipping. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of De Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. Space opens put up the, uh, the... Perhaps yeah. he find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a Daddy. pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. 
Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. <laughs> come, come. Take a seat, my friend. <laughs> Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. As in, get the, the fuck out of the hallway, Washington. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Every, I'm coming. Why does every game and movie have has nosebleed as using your brain to do something? It seems like Dear Monsieur de Richie. It seems like every game and movie does that. Whenever you have like some sort of mental power or something, your nose starts to bleed. Incredulity of Saint Thomas. Why is Caravaggio represented Saint Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't but, touch. But when you like think about it, like your sinuses are near the brain, but they're not really they don't really have much to do directly with the brain. The brain doesn't bleed out the nose or something. I don't know. It's just sort of like the the stereotype about having brain powers or something. Great. Power. Honey. It's weird. Like remember Stranger Things has that a lot of movies and shows that where if someone's having like a mental brain power, it's always uh, through the nose, some bleeding. Whenever I do my mental powers, I don't bleed out my nose. I bleed out my ears. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. Hmm. Difficulty one. Choose the key. Don't have to waste points. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Okay. Royal jelly. And then what else? Oh, another amber fragment. Perfect. Oh yeah, I have mental powers. I can control people's and do have them do what I want them to do. Like you will subscribe with Twitch Prime or regular 4.99. You will subscribe with Twitch Prime. Oh, 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 so, oh. Wait, wait, we're right. I'm bleeding out my nose. Ah. Oh, they're right. It does do that. Oh, man. Excuse me. Am I bothering you? No. No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. New subscriber. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her Thank to you, us. Gully and Swift yes. Blue Dragon. Well, she is New the daughter subscriber. of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. 
Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. That clipping. Washington oh, God. is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Count on subscriber. me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Mr. Pepper, thank you for subbing. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. I don't remember reading about this stuff in uh, history books, though. Is this what really happened to George Washington? According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Louis, you're straying from your objective. Am I? Okay. I'm, we're gonna nail it this time. We're gonna nail it. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him hit her. My son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe a Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug. A Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. New subscriber. You're right. That sounds like it might be bad. Good lord, that's all I needed. How am I supposed to keep Adams busy now? Do you know if the man is armed? No, I don't. Uh, I barely saw him. If this thing starts to sound serious, call the servants for help. I certainly will. Uh, thank you, my son. May God watch over you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Forget Multiple tasks reach your objective. Maybe you're gonna need to think twice before embarking on the first path you come to. Me, sir. If we were in France, <laughs> I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. <laughs> hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business! I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh, suffer. Damn it. What should I do? You filthy whore. Let it go. I apologize. Have mercy. Please, <laughs> no. No. Keep her busy. I apologize. No, no, no. Mercy, have mercy. No, no, no. Where's that smart mouth now? I'll teach you a little respect. No. Huh? No. Do not make some wish worse. Often enough, sometimes huh? the end does justify the means. I'd hoped I wouldn't have to apply that rule, but at least no. Washington will have enough time. No. <laughs> <laughs> you encounter uh, an immunity one effort point is locked please it's too late for that leave me alone forgive me he took me by surprise I, I didn't think he'd really hit you please don't touch me Sorry. Can I have that talisman of yours? Well, did you get time to search the room? Yes, I found out many things. 
Rose. Good. 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 Did, did Elizabeth give you any trouble? Elizabeth? No. <laughs> well, you could have mentioned she was with a raving maniac, huh? What do you mean? She was with a Frenchman. He was about to beat her when I arrived. What the devil are you talking about? I thought he was going to kill the poor girl. Did you intervene? I did what was necessary to give you enough time to search her room. Good work, my friend. I knew that I could count on you. So tell me, did you find any information? Oh, yes. What I found is likely to upset you. What do you mean by that? What? Elizabeth is indeed Nani? the daughter of John Adams. Why pass her off as dead? I found her medical file. It appears that for many years, your mother was her personal doctor. From what I read, she behaved more like a butcher than a doctor. What are you talking about? I'm not a child. What's going on here? John believed that his daughter was possessed. He appealed to your mother to save her, but the treatment she inflicted on the poor child... My God. Look, stop beating around the bush. What exactly did she do to her? Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? My mother got her hands dirty for the common good, so don't be too quick to judge her. For the common good? We're talking about the vivisection of a child, of tattooing her from head to foot with a red hot iron. Stop this. For her fifth birthday, she inflicted the stigmata of Christ on her. And for her 10th birthday, a hysterectomy. What kind of gift is that My for a My mother is not a monster. I do not doubt that your mother meant well, but the techniques described in the file, it, it is pure torture. My mother has many faults, but she's not the cruel woman you describe. Believe what you will, but now you cannot say you were never told. Sometimes you just gotta torture somebody for, you know, just because. It happens. My mother, tor if she tortured some lady, it's probably for some good reason. Or she was bored. Which is just fine. Sometimes you just have to do these things. God. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? Could have been worse. Let's say that Miss Adams will remember it for a couple of days. What? Did you not intervene? Of course not. What did you want me to do? That thug could have snapped me in half in two seconds. So, you prefer to let that fragile young lady take a beating rather than risk getting slapped around a bit yourself? That's Mr. what Jesus Derice, would do. Your mother would not have been proud of you. Listen, next time it happens, join me instead of hiding behind the door. If you're gonna talk big, back it up. You should be ashamed. I will pray for your soul, my son. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Louise. Uh, Give me uh -huh. one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. 
how to push him down and steal that cross and sell it for weed. Any other new things pop up? Louis, you're straying from your objective. Am I? <laughs> what? I'm exhausted. I can't explore the I better room? go to bed. Well, I'll search my room tomorrow. If mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. I didn't get anywhere near the bed that time. It just, boop, instant bed. I let Lady Adams take a beating. I didn't pick up Lady Adams' helmet. Could have found out more about plans involving myself. Could have had a remarkable encounter. I'm just one time about my mother. Show up his letter and sealed. Returned to her room. Four points. 